How you doing, Steve Noble, Noble Moto? Gonna do something a little different today. I got a new BMX bicycle, so I'm gonna do an unboxing and assembly video. It is uh, from Stolen Bicycle Company. Uh, got a heist. Uh, supposed to be a pretty cool bike, pretty floored over it. Uh, so, let's see what we got going on here. Now everybody on the internet loves unboxing videos for whatever reason. Some zip ties. Make some seat packaging out of there. Man, and there's the whole assembly right there. Ta da! Was that a nice unveil or what? Looks like I knew what I was doing. All right, so I'm going to do this assembly as if you were doing it on your floor, not with a bicycle stand or anything, so you can kind of get the idea of what's going on if you're going to do it on your garage floor. So first things first, we'll finish on packaging and everything, uh, and we'll go from there. So. So like I said, I'm going to assemble this thing like you're doing it on your floor of your garage. No bike stand, nothing crazy. So this is a good order to go into, keep from having to balance parts in some crazy format. So seat bowl is already in there. So step one, slide the seat in. And it is a five millimeter Allen wrench. Sorry, it is a six millimeter Allen wrench. That is the seat bolt. It's just your seat, and you gotta kill it. Just get it good and tight. Make sure your seat don't move around. I'm sure, there's a torque spec to it. Whatever. From there, like I said, and everything's sitting on the front fork here. So <clears throat> from there, we're gonna take the top clamp off the stem, also with a six millimeter Allen wrench. Flip our bars up on here. Make sure everything's clean. Make sure there's a little knurled spot right there in the middle, textured. Hopefully, you can see that. So, you're going to want to make sure that is centered in the clamp there. Use a tape measure. I'm just going to eyeball it center. Put the top clamp on there. Start all these in here with your fingers first. And from there, check to make sure it's center again. Take your six millimeter Allen wrench, kind of snug them all, run them all down there. Whoop. 
just the point where they make contact. You don't want your clamp to cock to the side or anything. So it should be enough where it kind of holds them in place. Perfect. Bars wind up with forks. Pretty much a standard everybody runs anymore. All right, just to see what's going on here. With all the, the bolts, all the, uh, the bolts ran down there. The six millimeter Allen wrench. Hopefully, the camera will focus on that. And uh, you can see the gap here in relation to the gap there. And uh, it's pretty even. And uh, so that's a good start there. Forks, and the handlebars are all still in line. So from there, we're going to torque it down in what's called a sequential pattern. Really evenly is the, the big point there. Let's see if we get the camera back in place. So we're going to take our 6 millimeter Allen wrench. And you want to go kind of cross from that one to that one, that one to that one, and kind of go around evenly. Otherwise, you could cock the clamp as you're trying to tighten this up. And then the clamp will get really tight, and then the bars won't be that tight. And at the absolute worst possible time when you're trying to land a jump, your bars will fold forward, and you'll eat it off the front of your bike. So, it's very important. You don't need Loctite or anything on these. Just go around, snug that one up, snug that one up. There. There. You do this. Now, you do want to get these things pretty tight. But a nice even torque pattern. We'll squeeze it all down. You don't have to kill it. Shouldn't need any thread lock or anything. I'm just kind of keep going around. At some point, you won't be able to tighten them up anymore. At that point, call that good. All right. Everything's sitting pretty solid from there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the brakes. Um, at least the rear brake lever. So for whatever reason this bike got sent to me with the rear brake on the front and the cable to the front brake on the right side. Um, so it's not a motorcycle. So we're gonna put the brakes on there the right way. So we're gonna take our five millimeter Allen wrench this time. And I'm gonna take the brake lever off. Now these have split brake levers, hinged ones, whatever you want to call them. So I can remove the bolt off of the back side there. And they spin out there. See? A little bolt back there. And on this side, once again, alright. So, like I said before, we've got the front brake lever, uh, or left brake lever, going to the rear brake. Not sure why they did that. Maybe somebody was sleeping on the job that day. But anyway, so we're going to swap this out. So, step one, you have a little, a little adjuster here. Hopefully you can see that. So we're going to crank that all the way in. All right, so. Should be able to pop that right off. Now, if you can't get this off, you would have to undo the cable there or lose something nut back here. But I got it off, so we're going to run with that. Now, this little notch here in your adjuster and in your locking nut. So you want to align those up. Hopefully you'll be able to see that there. There we go. So you align that up. That way you can pull the cable through forward like that and bring it around. You got a little lug there. Pop that off just like so. Now we're going to take a rear brake lever or a right side brake lever and we're going to hook that in there. And again, we're going to line up our lock nut here and our adjuster bolt. Hopefully, once again, you can see that. Slide that in there. Just slide out back together. We're going to pull the brake line back into place here. Then uh, I'm going to try this a little different this time. So we're going to try and hook this on up here. 
See if I can't hook the lug in to the other side of them there. Ta-da! All right. So that's all hooked back up. Now I'm going to go back up the handlebars, put the rear brake lever on. All right, so we got the, late, the cable all hooked up. So we're going to route the brake line around the front here. And we're going to loop this over the bar. On the back side here, this is the hinge and the bolt. Hopefully you can see that. I have the bolt here in my hand. And I'll thread in there once we get it over the bar. So we'll thread that in there from the back side. And uh, you want to make sure you don't get this cross-threaded, so just start it in there with your fingers. Real gentle. Take a five millimeter Allen wrench. Just kind of run around in there. Get your brake lever, whatever angle you so choose to have it at. And tighten her up. Once again, like this, you don't have to kill it. Just snug it up. All right. There. Doesn't go anywhere. And check the brake levers. Everything's sitting pretty good. So, now if there was too much throw to this brake lever, or if I had to pull it really far, let's see if we can crank the adjuster all the way in. So, if I had to pull this brake lever really far to get it to grab, hopefully, you'll be able to see this. Move the camera here a little bit. So what I would do is I would turn this adjuster out here a little bit. What that does is it takes up the extra slack that's in the cable. So it kind of pulls on the sheathing on the outside. So it's almost like it pulls that inner cable out a little bit longer. So now, so then in turn, it pushes the rear brake pads closer to the rim. So then in turn, you have less throw. It's right there. Got like about a quarter inch gap there. It's for demonstration purposes. Let's crank this way out. Let me lock it in place with this jam nut. Still got about a quarter inch there. I guess we can put a bunch more on it. There. Now, just a wee little bit of movement there. So it's super tight. The only downside of that is my brake pads are just ever so barely off the rim right now. So there's a good chance they might rub or drag a little bit when the rim flexes uh, or if it's just slightly misaligned. So we're going to back it off here a little bit. We're going to go on the side of caution. Kind of just adjust it quite a ways in. Just quite a bit of throw, but I'm going to leave it there for now. And then once we ride it, we can fine tune it. And as your cable stretches a little bit, because all cables stretch when they're new. You're going to have to adjust this a little bit to kind of keep that little sweet spot on your brakes. Right there, pretty good. All right. All right, so from here we're going to do the front brake. I know you might be saying, dude, the front brake was in 1998? Yeah, well, it came on the bike, so we're putting it on. Deal with it. Maybe we'll take it off later, maybe we won't. All right, so the way this is held on is by the cable goes through this bolt here that has a little hole in it. So, we're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench because it's most likely 10 millimeters. We're going to loosen that nut up. And that is going to loosen this center cable way up. From there, we'll be able to take the front brake lever, or the left lever, depending on how you're looking at. We're going to drop that little lug here, in through there, and going back to the notches right here. We'll line up the notch on the lock nut and the notch. Eh, spin it around there. The notch on the adjuster bolt there. And we're going to slide it in. And then from there, we're going to go up the handlebars and do the same process that we did on the rear brake lever. flip the bike over here on my lift and uh can't really see it but i got a towel down uh, just so i don't scratch up the grips or anything and uh it's usually my motorcycle lifts is usually some dirt on it so i don't want the oil on the grips so you can do the same in your driveway keep from scratching the thing up there now we got the thing upside down so we're gonna put the front wheel on 
have the um, bolts here backed out. Hopefully you can see them. Mm -hmm. I've backed out about half an inch or so on each side. So it should be able to drop right in here. And if you have front brakes, I still have them released, so they're way open wide, so it just drops right in there. And then from there, I'll run these both in there by hand. Make sure to see it all the way down. Make sure it's lined up. Take your 17 millimeter wrench, snug up one side, snug up the other side. I'm gonna go back, pull on the fork with one hand, tighten that side up, tighten that side up. I'm gonna go back, give a side a pull, just to make sure. Yes, it is tight. And a spin. Everything looks good. Nice seal bearings. Uh, from here, put the pedals on the back. All right, now come around here to the back wheel. Now this thing was actually tensioned to align pretty good. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what's going on. So with the bike upside down here, we're going to push it back. And you want to have just a wee little bit of free movement in here. Like, but you don't want so much that it's going to skip on your teeth here, on your, on your sprocket, when you crank on the thing. So... You let it go, obviously it flops down. So we're gonna push on it with our thumb here. I'll hold on to it like that. And push on it. And I can look at the gap on each side up against the rear brake pads. Hopefully you can see that. Look at the gap there from the uh, tire to the edge of the frame. There we are. Tire to the edge of the frame there on each side. We're gonna make sure that's about even. Just gonna eyeball it in there. If you want, you can get out a tape measure. Measure from the edge of the wheel to the actual frame rail there. Which isn't always even. So we're just gonna eyeball it to where it's straight. And we're gonna snug up each side here. All right, and we're gonna look. That chain, eh, that's a tad bit loose. I'm gonna break it free. Why we just snug it up first, not kill it and torque it down. All right, push this back with our thumbs there. We're just sitting pretty good. Not yet. I'll loosen up a little more. There we are. Right, snug that side up. Snug up the other side. And from there, chain tension's pretty good. Tire. Get the camera up here with me. Tire. It's pretty even there. To the frame rails. Down there, if you can see it, the gap. On that side, in relation to the gap on the other side. Sitting pretty good there. So, everything looks... Alright, unbox our pedals here. Probably some other hardware in here or instructions or something that I should have went to in the first place. Alright, got our pedals. We got some reflectors. Aww, we got a bell. How cute. Also got some reflectors. Eh, hang on those for the road bike. And here you have your instructions. Probably tells you how to put it all together. Hey, look at that. It does. So if you're unsure about anything, refer back to the instructions. I, however, worked in a bike shop for a while. So, there you go. Cool pedals there. I believe they're seal bearings. So here's a little tip. I'm not saying you should ride without reflectors. If you go ride on the street, especially at night, for the love of God, put some reflectors and some lights on your bike, or you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit. But we're not doing that. So we're gonna take a little flathead screwdriver in there. We're going to pop the reflectors out. If I ever ride on the street, I'll pop them back in. So if you look, there's a little notch right there. There's a little flathead screwdriver. 
All right. So now we're going to reset the front brake. This is pretty old school style front brake on here. Um, so we're going to slide the cable right up in there. And we're going to squeeze the brake caliper here together with our fingers. That's going to give us a bunch of slop up in here. There's even a special tool to do this. And sometimes you can get like that little extra gapping space here. Basically what I'm going to do is just squeeze these together with my fingers. Let it relax just ever so slightly. And I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench here and snug this nut back up. Now the bolt that's in there is often going to want to twist as I tighten this up. So right there should hold it in place. And from there, I kind of put my thumb on each side of the cable there and tighten her up. Ta-da! Oh, one more step. Now set the brake pads here. I'll loosen that up. I know, it's a lot of work. Most of you probably is going to take these things off. And the other side. Ta-da, give it a little spin. Make sure everything's nice and free. All right, one more step here. Uh, still got to tighten the stem up. Make sure it is, nice to do this on the ground. Make sure it is square to the front wheel. I'll eyeball that shed in there. Try to line it all up. You're going to take your uh, six millimeter Allen wrench here. We're going to screw it in here, snug up each side, check it again, and then tighten it down. All right, check it again. I should have to stand up here so I can see it. 